Hey, welcome back. That last episode on busy beavers was pretty interesting, so let's do one more. The busy beaver function bbn records the number of steps taken by the slowest Turing machine with n states. Uh, this here is the slowest two-state machine. It takes six steps before stopping, and no other two-state machine runs longer than that, so bb2 is six. The current bb5 champion takes over 47 million steps. And there are a bunch of five-state machines that run longer, but most of them provably run forever. There are still a couple thousand holdouts, though, any of which could suddenly stop and become the new champion. Busy beavers are important for meta-mathematics, so there's a 27-state machine that halts on any exception to the Goldbach conjecture. If that machine runs past BB27 steps, then it's going to run forever. By definition. So you'd think that the Goldbach conjecture would require checking an infinite amount of even numbers, but in fact the conjecture can be resolved by checking a very large but finite set of even numbers. And uh, to me that's kind of mind-blowing. So if the Goldbach conjecture, for example, could be refuted by a five-state machine, then 47 million steps would be enough to resolve it, and that'd be awesome. Here's another conjecture. Paul Erdos noticed that if you write the powers of 2 in base 3, something weird happens at 2 to the 8th. The digit 2 fails to appear in the base 3 representation. He famously conjectured that this weird thing never happens again. Amazingly, Tristan Sterren and Damian Woods built a 15-state Turing machine that halts on any counterexample to the Erdos conjecture. So that conjecture is really about what happens between 2 to the 8th and 2 to the BB15. If there are no counterexamples in that finite range, then there are no counterexamples ever. Okay, how about uh, what we've been talking about? Well, there are several well-known conjectures we've considered on this channel. Uh, one, the 3n plus 1 rule takes all dart numbers to 1. Two, there's only one 3n plus 1 cycle. Uh, three, under 5n plus 1, almost no start numbers reach 1. And 4 under 5n plus 1, 7 doesn't reach 1, which is a special case. And 7's trajectory looks like this. 7, 36, 18, 9, up to 6,999. And if you keep following it, it looks like it never stops. Now, suppose we make an in-state Turing machine that halts if 7 does reach 1, which would refute this conjecture. If that machine runs for BBN steps without stopping, then it's never going to stop, confirming conjecture number four. In other words, we only need to follow this trajectory for our finite number of steps. If seven doesn't hit one by that time, it's never going to hit one. So how many steps? Well, let's just do it. Build the smallest Turing machine we can. So a first idea is to put seven ones onto the blank tape then traverse it to figure out if it's even or odd. And we can do that with states D and E, which flip-flop until a white cell is reached. If we add step states B and C, we can also halt if one is reached. Um, if it's odd, then we go delete the first black cell and replace it with five black cells over here, and then repeat until we've made five N black cells and add one more on the left to make five N plus one. If the number were even instead, like four, then we could replace each pair of black cells with a single black cell over here, which would effectively divide it in half. And it takes about 30 states uh, to build a machine that does this. But with some tricks, we can get it down to just 16 states. Uh, for odd numbers, we can repurpose the BB2 champion, which writes four black cells with only two states. We go back and add a fifth black cell on the left before continuing to process the odd number. These six states uh, process odd numbers this way, and these five states process the even numbers. And the last thing is to place seven black cells on the tape. You'd think that would add seven more states, but we can do it with just one. Initial state A places a black cell, then jumps to state L, which is responsible for writing five more. So that's one plus five n plus one equals seven, and we're back to state B. There are a bunch of Turing machine simulators on the web. Here's our machine running on start number three. Here we're reading an odd number of ones, in this case three, and uh, so we're going to delete each one and replace it by five ones. So here we're writing four ones using the two-state trick, and then we'll come back and fill in that blank space with the fifth one. 
and then um, we'll start working on the second one, delete it, and replace it by five ones. And then we'll um, delete the third one and now replace it by five ones, that makes 15, and add one more to make 16. Now 16 is an even number, so we're going to cut it down to eight, um, and then um, uh, cut that eight down to four, and then two, and then one, uh, and then we'll stop. And here's our machine running five n plus one on start number seven, beginning with a blank tape. So this time we're going to start with a blank tape and magically add seven ones to the tape, and then go to state B for begin. And uh, we'll determine that this is an odd number of ones, so we'll start deleting each one and replacing it by five ones. And that'll make uh, 35 ones in total. And we need to add one more for the five n plus one to make 36. Um, and once we have 36, we can figure out that that's an even number and start cutting it in half and just keep going and going and going. If this machine were still running at step BB16, then we'd have confirmed that 7 will never reach 1. Is it possible to build a smaller machine, like with 5 states, to do the same thing? Then we might only have to run it for 47 million steps. And last time we saw a 5 state machine that computes this 3n plus 1 like rule. And I think it's kind of weird that nature uses its precious small machines to compute weird functions like this, instead of something we like like this. Well, probably the 5n plus 1 on 7 conjecture can be resolved by a Turing machine with fewer than 16 states, though. But how small? Okay, see you next time.